Um, and this appears to be a vision. <laughs> I saw myself in a large... Oh, and by the way, it's called the Tunnel of Love, if you just scroll up to December 7th. <laughs> I saw myself in a large cavern-like air tunnel through which love flowed. I saw that there was a brick wall obstructing the flow of love. Some bricks had been removed from the top of the wall, but most of the obstructing wall remained firmly in place. I knew it was my function to tear down the wall, one brick at a time, in order to free the flow of love. But I saw how firmly the bricks were cemented together and worried that I would never be able to loosen the bricks and tear down the wall. This is when the Holy Spirit spoke to me. It said, I will loosen the bricks for you. Your job is to find the loose bricks. When you find them, take them down from the wall. Don't be afraid to look for the loose bricks. They cannot hurt you. And when you find a brick, do not feel anxious or guilty that the brick is there. I have loosened it for you. Be joyful as you take the brick down from the wall. With each brick that is removed, the flow of love increases. Later I realize that when the wall is gone, I will see that I am the love that flows. So that's the post. <laughs> and, you know, it's funny because it's very short. And, in fact, one thing I, I like about the Holy Spirit as it comes through me is that it's typically, you know, very short, you know, with the exception of this Holy Spirit's translation of the New Testament, which is quite long. But uh, it came to me in short spurts also. And I like that the Holy Spirit gives me uh, short things at a time because then I can fully digest them before the next thing comes. And if we look at just this one paragraph where it says, the Holy Spirit spoke to me, it said, and then just focus on what the Holy Spirit said, the very first sentence I will loosen the bricks for you. You know, I totally understood that what this meant is that the Holy Spirit would guide me through situations that would seem upsetting. You know, it's funny because um, many people will give a day over to the Holy Spirit and the expectation in the mind is if I give this day to the Holy Spirit, it will be completely peaceful. And then they're shocked when they give the day to the Holy Spirit and something upsetting happens very quickly. And some people even judge themselves as somehow being a failure because they thought they gave the day to the Holy Spirit. They were expecting peace and instead this upsetting thing happened. But if we look at this very first sentence from the Holy Spirit, I will loosen the bricks for you. <laughs> this is really telling us that when we give the day to the Holy Spirit or we give a relationship to the Holy Spirit, or we give a situation to the Holy Spirit, <laughs> That does not necessarily mean that what we're going to do is immediately experience peace. What it means is that the Holy Spirit is going to take that situation and loosen bricks for us, which means things are going to happen that are going to bring up the unworthiness, the fear, the guilt that we need to let go of if we still have these in our mind and need to let go of them. So really giving things over to the Holy Spirit, especially in the beginning, can actually lead into a very upsetting experience. And, uh, you know, it's really nice that the Holy Spirit told me about this <laughs> right up front so that I could have my expectations straight. So again, I will loosen the bricks for you. Your job is to find the loose bricks. When you find them, take them down from the wall. Don't be afraid to look for the loose bricks. They cannot hurt you. So as all this stuff starts coming up within the mind, really this is telling us the attitude we're to have towards the stuff. Of course, the attitude that I'm a failure... <laughs> <laughs> because I gave the day to the Holy Spirit and now I'm not experiencing peace. Well, that's, that's the ego. That's not the, the attitude that the Holy Spirit is teaching us. What the Holy Spirit is teaching us is, ah, this is why this stuff is coming up. These are my loose bricks. Now my job is to take these bricks down from the wall. And the way we take those bricks down from the wall is by observing clearly in our mind what it is that we're seeing 
and letting it go or turning it over to the Holy Spirit instead of believing it and judging it. And in fact, you'll notice the next sentence. It says, and when you find a brick, do not feel anxious or guilty that the brick is there. So we really are not to judge ourselves for these things that we find in our mind. We're to realize that what we are doing is taking down this brick wall so that love can flow through unobstructed. And it's really a, a joyous job, even though upset seems to occur in the process. In fact, when we really look at it with the Holy Spirit, it's kind of funny. We can learn to feel both the joy or the gratitude and the upset at the same time. You know, you can feel the fear and be grateful that you're feeling it because you know you're letting it go. You can feel the fear and be patient with it. You can feel the fear and still feel a bit of happiness that you're finally letting it go. You can actually feel both at the same time when you're fully in touch with the Holy Spirit's perspective about what's going on. And that's what the Holy Spirit says next. I have loosened it for you. Be joyful as you take the brick down from the wall. And then with each brick that is removed, the flow of love increases. And I got to tell you, that is my experience all the way. Um, so I can now validate that from experience. At the time that this was written, I couldn't. <laughs> but I can now. Every single time that we go through an upset and we use it, we use the situation for the purpose of healing our mind, every time there seems to be more peace, more love after that. And in fact, I remember that Peace Pilgrim talked about the spiritual path as a series of hills and valleys. And the valleys were the upsets where the Holy Spirit is helping you to loosen the bricks uh, and take the bricks away. The, the hills were the peace um, and the increased love that followed each valley. And, you know, what Peace Pilgrim would say is every time you went down to the valley, the next hilltop was higher. But then you go back down into the valley for another healing but then the next hilltop was higher. And that's exactly what this says. With each brick that is removed, the flow of love increases. So we have to keep going back in in order to find another brick and let it go. So we, the, the spiritual path does seem to be going back and forth to a point between these wonderful periods of peace and these upsets. But again, the upsets are not what I would call fully upsetting as long as the perspective of healing is maintained. Then the upsets are just as eagerly greeted as the times of peace because we understand that the upsets and finding what's upsetting us and letting it go, you know, these removing the bricks from the wall is critical to more love passing through that tunnel. And of course, that tunnel is us to us experiencing more love. So I'm going to let go of the mic, I think, <laughs> uh, so this Dell thing will get out of my way.